All right, hello everybody. Today we're gonna test a face mask. And this time we have avocado mask that looks like this. I was really drawn to these colors because it kind of looks all natural or like very organic to say like that. And it has this little circle that says help from nature. So I thought maybe this is kind of natural mask. And it is avocado and oatmeal by brand Victoria Beauty. It is clarifying clay facial mask that moisturizes and deep cleanses for normal to combination skin. I was expecting this to be like a natural mask I'm gonna sneeze. <coughs> Bless me. But then I read the like ingredients and I was like, I'm like, oh, this is full of chemicals. This has no parabens, so let's just say that that is proof that this is very healthy. What it, this magic thing is supposed to do is clarifying clay mask, avocado and oatmeal deeply cleans, nourishes and soothes the skin. Creamy clay gets into pores to remove dirt and oils while nutrient rich avocado and oatmeal moisture soothe and nourish your skin resulting in super so soft and fresh skin. Directions for use. Apply mask to clean face and neck. The face is clean. We got that checked. Avoiding contact with eyes. I'm not gonna put any mask into my eyes. Like, I don't know why people even write this. Like, who's gonna put a mask in their eyes? I guess this is just their way to like protect themselves from somebody suing them. Like, you didn't say this isn't supposed to be in eyes. I put it in my eyes. People do a lot of stuff. Can't blame them, everybody needs some money. And let dry and rinse with warm water. Use twice a week or as often as needed. Follow with your choice of Victoria Beauty skincare. I do not have any Victoria Beauty skincare, so I think that any kind of skincare will do the job. Caution, avoid using on blemishes, pimples, irritated or sunburned skin. Now, what is in here? that's gonna like react to some pimples and blemishes like but who doesn't have pimples and blemishes uh, you know usually people put the mask on when they do have some kind of problem and this says that it's clarifying that moisturizes a deep cleanser so somebody who has pimples and blemishes is going to use this so their skin should be clean why it's just oh, the logic of a face mask is like from the depths of hell. Let's open it. What is this color? Oh, it looks like it looks like clay color. This is not the color of avocado because if your avocado should be this color, that would be very very scary. Oh, this smells like oh, you know, like the colors for um, art class. Oh, I have it on my lips. I'm not a professional. It's kind of like you have a hint of like a natural smell, but then this artificial smell just hits you right in your nostril. Right away, I have a cooling effect on my face. I feel very, like this is very cooling and very nice, like refreshing. And I still feel the, um, I can still smell the artificial scent of this thing. It does have some avocado ingredients and oatmeal, but I don't think it's really like 100% nature. We're supposed to wait until this dries. It doesn't have like 15 minutes, 20 minutes. So, um, in that time, I'm just gonna review some products that I showed you in my hauls and I said, look, I'm gonna check this and I'm gonna let you know. So let's just dig through that. Ooh, this feels nice when you kind of like, ooh, start waving. NYX concealer. And I said before that I can't find a concealer that is good for um, my skin from NYX. I don't know what it is. I tried like maybe four or five different concealers and then I took this one and um, the color is really nice. 
it's nice pigmentation but i do not like this again uh, i'm sorry i like nyx i adore nyx but their um concealers are just not good enough for me because when i put it under my eyes you know i dab it i do everything right you know but then like within an hour it starts sinking into my um, lines under my eyes and it just becomes very visible and my lines become even more visible than they were without any makeup on so that's not the goal that is not a goal i am going for i'm gonna just keep on digging through nyx concealers and until i find the perfect one it's a mission but from nyx the favorite eyeliner ever this is the best eyeliner that i ever 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 tried this is nyx black it is matte eyeliner and it has a little ball in here so you can like shake it so it doesn't get all dry before it's time and the packaging is very uh, elegant you know this thing is so precise so opaque and it dries matte completely matte i haven't tried the matte um, eyeliner before you know, I wasn't thinking about matte and shiny and stuff, but then when I went there, the girl who worked there told me like, oh, we have a great matte um, eyeliner, you should try it. And I did, and I am in love. It's already drying. It doesn't have that um, glare, you know, with your normal eyeliners. It, they have a little glare when you move from side to side. When the light hits it, it has this shiny kind of effect that, that actually looks kind of greasy but it's not it's just that's how it dries this is matte and i am in love with it uh this is going to be <laughs> repurchased so accident then another thing from nyx is this uh, shimmer roll-on you have to use your um primer because this needs to stick to your eye and um, you do not have to use a primer that is like for shimmer or um, glitter. You can use just your regular primer. It will stick on. It is so beautiful, so shiny, so fun to use. It's like flaky when I don't have any primer on. It's like I'm not going to touch it because I'm going to make a mess out of myself. I really recommend it if you like a little bit of shimmer because with this um, bowl, here you can actually work very nice, you have a lot of um, control, you can put a little, you can put a lot, depending how many times you roll it over, and this is the color mauve pink. This is kind of already drying. You see how this, it really does work like a clay, if you can notice. You see this thing is completely dry and it looks like desert land. My face is a desert. And I don't know how moisturizing this can be if it's like so dry. We're gonna see after we finish it. And I can see the lines here. So this mask actually shows you what, uh, you know, how you move your face normally because I do apparently a lot of this because I have these lines here. I guess they will start showing up very soon as I'm getting older. But I don't see lines anywhere else. So. Yay! I still feel uh, very refreshed. My face is starting to like um, tight in there, you know, like I'm uh, feeling that I have something on my skin that is getting tighter and tighter. I have my wet towel and we're gonna just wipe this thing off. This is what I do normally when I take off my um, face mask because you know when you have to like wash it it just takes forever to like wash it with water and if you don't get into your shower it's even more difficult i used to do it with like uh, paper towels and that was a nightmare this gets off pretty well i'm actually surprised i thought that it's gonna be more difficult this feels so nice having cold wet towel on your face sometimes that just feels so refreshing so nice they should like sell these honestly like when summer hits in and you're like on a street and you're so hot i wish somebody on the street would sell wet towels just cold wet towels the size of a face and you just put it on your face and you're like oh. i don't know how well would that go with my makeup but you know when you're really really hot you don't care, you just like 
Please, somebody send a cold shower on my head. Tell me, what is the like the highest um, temperature where you live? For us, it is around 55 Celsius on concrete in like a center of the city, which I guess it's nothing for places that have like tropical heat. I'm just gonna go and wash my face with water as they recommend so to see how everything looks. So I just washed my face. It is still a little bit red around my nose but that's okay. That's how my face is naturally um, gets red when it's like rubbed or touched not very gently. What I noticed is that when I was washing my face, this is squeaky clean. So this really does what it says. It says it's like clarifying, cleaning. It really is. My face feels so, so fresh and clean. And my face is always like when I wash it in the morning and tone it and everything, it still feels a little bit greasy around my T-zone. Normal combination skin. But this is all so so clean and squeaky and I need to put some moisturizer on because I think this took all like um, natural grease off it really washed my face cleaned my face completely so I really really like it it really is clarifying and cleaning and I feel like my face is a little bit brighter maybe that's just me tripping but i would recommend this for for skin that it's uh, when you feel all like you your skin is kind of dirty and whatever you do it still feels dirty so if you really want, want to clean your skin buy one of these why not it says that it moisturizes i don't think it does i don't see the moisture anywhere maybe like deep inside my skin it's moisturized but I just would say it's just clarifying, not moisturizing. I do need to moisturize because I feel like my face is kind of like uh, tight, but not like tight, I'm, I'm young. It's just tight, like dry. If you have like extremely dry skin, do not try this because it's gonna dry it even more. If you have like combination to normal skin, which it says, it says the combination to normal skin or greasy skin, try it and let me know how you liked it. I hope you liked this video um, of like combination of face mask and uh, review. And if you did, please hit the thumbs up, subscribe, and I will talk to you tomorrow. Bye-bye.